Australia. It's midsummer in the grasslands of Eastern Australia, and school is over for the year, so that when youngsters are missing, you follow the pony trails. Thoroughbred country, this, with its well-known studs for cattle, sheep, and horses. The youngsters have been trained to handle stock quietly and make light of many a long day's work on properties that are still short-handed after the war years. They're rounding up ponies for the horsebreaker, but ponies don't always take things quietly when they're unbroken. They come up to the yard too fast to be let in, and this is what happens. They've heard that the new horsebreaker is from the Northern Territory, 2,000 miles away, and horses are wild way out back or beyond. First, catch your pony. <coughs> The earliest contact is all important. They say he handles the really wild ones just as quietly. Wonder if it'll work. Still taking things gently, and tense muscles begin to relax. It's working all right. He keeps as close to the pony as he can. He may find it more difficult with the hind leg. Well, it'll be the easier to shoe for this. He has it where he wants it, and as the riders will want it. A new version of how to win friends and influence ponies. The first reins will be fastened to this roller, as it is called. The surcingle is tightened. One more strange bond to get used to. Reins are carefully adjusted, for a pony's mouth can easily be spoiled. How's that, mate? And another useful stock pony will soon be ready for the saddle. What the children have learned by keeping their eyes open around the stockyards will be put to the test on sports and instruction day at the local pony club. Well-bred ponies, these, but it's not breeding or cost that counts in club competition so much as the way they've been cared for. It'd take more than a broken wrist to keep this lass out of the fun. It doesn't even slow her down. Competition is keen. The club had only a dozen members six years ago, and now there are more than 300. Young Clancy is one of the starters, and this team is also within riding distance of the sports ground. Some live so far away that their ponies have to be floated in. The dogs want to be in it too. All around the district, children are on the move. Every one of them confident that theirs is the pony to bring home the ribbons. Children from the town, Shearer's children, children from properties large and small. Anybody's children, so long as they're keen and under 18. He's well under and well over. Some go for precision and style in mounting. But as for me, I couldn't care less. 
ponies are judged on overall appearance, with the highest marks for those that have been best looked after. Some children are natural riders. It's in their blood. like young Hopalong, put their foot in it every time. <laughs> yes, any foot. It's time now for them to show how they can handle a pony, and off they go. Hoppy has his own ideas about style, seat, and grip. Flag races depend on skill as much as speed. These eight-year-olds should be able to handle stock later on. For the older boys, this sort of race is a gift, and for the ponies too. test nerve, and when you learn to take them in your stride, you're on your way to good horsemanship. Of course, there are still a lot of fine points to be learned, and the club has an instructress who can tell them what they'll need to know for show riding. But what's to be done if your pony's hurt and there's no expert veterinary help available? Men who handle stock must be able to give first aid to injured animals, and the children are shown how to go about it. Preparations must be very carefully made if further injury is to be avoided. The pony has been brought down under full control without harm. Securely trussed, it cannot hurt itself or its handlers. A bag keeps the head down. Questions. One at a time, please. Big event of the Pony Club year is the camp ride. All riders must assemble to enable stores and gear to be loaded on transport. Gear to be in a clearly marked kit bag, ground sheet, swag or sleeping bag. These should contain brush for pony, change of socks, underwear, towel, soap, toothpaste, knife, fork, tin opener, swimming togs. Ponies must be freshly shod and in good condition. They must be well broken and quiet. All riders must be free of coughs, colds and other illness and fit for the ride. One hundred years ago, this country was a happy hunting ground for bush rangers. Thunderbolt, notorious lover of thoroughbreds, was one of them. Riding the trails he followed, the children remember his legendary adventures. The Goulburn River on which Thunderbolt held up the mail. One step out of line here and there may be trouble of another kind, for there are quicksands. A pony gets off the track and goes down in a flurry of hooves. Someone catches the terrified animal, and the rider's soon on his feet. Now a rescuer's pony lands in trouble. If it's handled quietly, there'll be nothing to fear. The incident is over, but the lesson in keeping your head won't be forgotten. The Aborigines call this place Karabi, place of wild horses. Nearby lies Widden, home of many a classic race winner.
Once again, it's ponies first. Their fodder has priority, followed by the riders' swags. Some of the team leaders draw a food ration for their section. Everybody is hot and tired after long miles under a blazing sun, ponies included. It's the rider's turn. There's time for a little pony play, not quite horse play yet. A soft fall and no hard feelings. After a day in the saddle and a swim, there's food, and it's cooked in the open. They're not merely hungry, they're ravenous. These two are inseparable. You always enjoy a meal more if you share it with a pal. Burnham and Berrium, a rule which the club took over from the army, and it's strictly observed. At Widden, they see champions such as Bruegel, whose progeny have won over a quarter of a million in stakes on the Australian turf. Now in his 22nd year, he's taken up boxing for the sheer fun of it. It might even become his favorite sport. Whirl away, another champion, sired a dual derby winner. Valone, once a favorite for the English derby. Must have picked up that quarter sheet in Bond Street. Blood mares and foals are brought in for the club to see. Foals that have never yet been handled. The children are given the run of the yards, for young creatures have their own ways of understanding each other. Frisky, high-spirited colts and fillies usually keep well away from visitors, but not on this occasion. Both are curious and perhaps a little shy. A quiet approach is the only one she knows but it's the right one. That's enough, thank you. They're both about the same age, so why shouldn't they be friends? This four-legged baby is only 14 weeks old, but the pride and spirit of its breeding already show as it's broken into the lead. This filly may one day join the ranks of Widden progeny that have won almost every major race in Australia, Melbourne Cup included. In the Homestead Garden, the club is given a lesson in show riding by a well-known equestrian, winner of many trophies in Sydney's big arena. The children are fascinated. But now, the visit is over. Ponies and youngsters get ready for the homeward ride, reluctantly. The 
They turn towards Meroe, and by the time they get back, they'll have been away five days in all. And the final cost? Only 25 shillings a head. Now comes the big test, the Royal Sydney Show. Riders from all over the state mingle with the crowds. It's a test of nerves in more ways than one. At home, there were only friends. Here, there'll be a hundred thousand strange eyes. In the practice ring, team members go through their final rehearsal. the pony clubs in the march past, a moving pageant of the wealth of the nation. Dust coat for the pony, too. There'll be plenty of rivalry today as many clubs are represented before the judges. The teams go through their paces. No time for nervousness now, no matter how big the crowd. Hands down, elbows in, there's nothing wrong with the ponies, and they mustn't let them down. Now come individual tests of horsemanship. The big moment has come. Blue ribbons for some, red for others. But no jealousy and no hard feelings. No need to worry either. The ponies haven't been disgraced. The show comes just once a year, and it's soon over. Back home, away from the big crowds and bright lights, there's work to be done. And there's fun to be had doing it, for the youngsters and their ponies.